Hello there, Ali here from Logo Diffusion, and today I'm going to show you how you can use any image to create a logo or an illustration. And to get started, I'm going to head to the start with an image workflow. Now, once I'm on this page, I can start by uploading an image. So I would just click here and I have uh, this image of a football player. And let's say we want to turn this image into a logo. So what I would do is I would define the image influence. So we can start by keeping it in the middle and see what we get. I'm not going to use the image colors for now. And we need to choose a logo design style. So if we click here, you can see we have these nine styles. So I'm going to start with something simple, like a pictorial logo style. And we can start by going to the settings button over here. And here we can just choose a few attributes of the logo we want so i want it to be modern minimalist and since we have a full body image we'll just keep it to full body and here i'm just gonna do a really simple pro prompt just describing what i see in the picture american football player and let's hit generate and we got these results uh, kind of following the original image and giving us a minimalist uh, type logo. Uh, some of them have uh, a few uh, small issues, uh, like for example, the hand here is a little bit rough, uh, but you can see like in other uh, versions, uh, you get a cleaner look. You can always export any image as a vector file. So you can just click on it and click on vectorize. Uh, then you can edit it inside of Adobe Illustrator or any vector editing software to smooth out these edges and get the logo to be production ready. So let's say we want to try a different style. Uh, we can just go to here and let's try an icon slash emoji flat uh, logo design. So if I click on this, uh, we just choose front view and uh, let's keep it on detailed. And let's use the image colors for this one. So I'm going to move this to yes. I'm going to increase it a little bit so we can get more details. And with the specify colors, uh, I can choose red and let's do gold here just to kind of emphasize these two colors uh, in the design. And let's hit general. And these are the results uh, we got from the icon slash emoji logo style. And we can see that it's following the colors from the input image as well as the pose and the overall details. As you can see here, we have the hand cleaner here since we're using a higher image influence and we have a few more uh, examples to kind of pick from all of which are able to be turned into a vector or uh, to remove the background in order to use it in uh, other projects and let's actually give uh, line art uh, a try let's keep it bold and minimalist i'm not going to use uh, the image colors for this one and let's hit generate and here are the line art uh, results we got with this. As you can see, it's it's focusing more on the outlines and giving us like a clean uh, line art logo of the input image. We have these other uh, examples kind of showing different options that we can use. And one last logo style I want to use is the mascot. And for this one, I want to keep it thick. Let's do the sports. Let's keep it detailed. And for here, let's do full body. And let's hit generate. And with mascots, we got more detailed results. You can see we have shadows and highlights, almost uh, looking like an illustration. We can always increase uh, the image influence if you want to fix any small uh, issues or uh, problems with these results. And you can always use uh, the 2D art styles uh, down here as well. So let's just try uh, pixel art. And these are the pixel art uh, results uh, we got with this uh, art style. Now, another thing we can do with this is turn uh, this image into another realistic image. So let's say I want to go with something like cinematic and let's try to turn this football player into a zombie, for example. So let's do zombie American football player, maybe add something else like infected skin and let's increase the image influence to between mid and high and let's click generate and these are the results we got with the cinematic that you can see it followed the same uh, shape but it turned 
uh, a player into a zombie. Uh, you can see here uh, we've got some blood stains and maybe some infections happening over here. Now, if you want uh, this effect to be even more uh, visible, you can use a style that kind of complements what we're trying to do. So we have dark arts here, kind of like a horror uh, style. So I just changed the style and I'm going to click generate to see what we get. And these are the results uh, we got from using the, uh, the same prompt with a different style, the dark arts style. And you can see uh, from here we got uh, the zombie kind of looking more uh, like what you expect it to be with like the green skin and more uh, gore blood. And this is pretty much how you use uh, the logo diffusion image to image feature where you can get a few logos, illustrations, and even 3D variations of the image uh, we input into Logo Diffusion. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. I'll see you guys in the next video.